expecting to see your home just the way you left it. But one family was doing double takes when they found their house somewhat topless. Only on 5. News Channel 5's Marcy Gonzalez tells us what went wrong. Terrible. You know, you want to cry. A homeowner near tears. David Fisher's vacation cut short with a phone call from a roofing company. That, uh, oops, they accidentally ripped off the roof. He came back to his home in Breakers West to find, sure enough, his roof was gone. The company, Bossler Roofing, saying it was simply a mistake. Instead of doing work on his two-story home, Fisher says the company was actually supposed to replace the roof on his neighbor's one-story home two doors down. So it's a mix-up he just doesn't understand. Big difference on size and how are you mixing these two houses? Fisher admits he did get an estimate from Bossler Roofing, but never signed a contract. The company's attorney offers little explanation. How does a mistake like this happen? Yeah, quite frankly, I don't know. I don't know what took place on the day in terms of that there was, uh, you know, a make mistake that was made. But it's not only the mix-up that burns Fisher up, it's that two months later his roof still has no tiles. Now his insurance company is threatening to cancel his policy this Monday if the roof isn't replaced. And he claims Bossler refuses to do the work. My feeling is they're just playing game. They tried to take advantage because I'm an old person. Bossler's attorney explains they're happy to give Fisher a new roof and a discount. All he'll have to pay is his insurance deductible. So he is coming out ahead, even with what stands on the table. But with an eyesore like this caused by Bossler's mistake, Fisher is standing his ground. Finish it. Put the tile and finish it. Now, this is Bossler's Better Business Report, an A rating, only one complaint against them. Their attorney explains this mistake is an isolated incident, and he stresses that it is still a trustworthy company. Fisher, however, isn't buying it and says he is considering filing a lawsuit. Reporting live, Marcy Gonzalez, WPTV News Channel 5.